And next, we're going to talk about playing cut, and then we'll go back to comb. Cut, I think, is kind of a, a mainstay because it really helps with all the rest of the concepts in terms of a, a principle of a bracket style coverage. Okay, so cut for us is a two trap style man match cover two. So we tend to run this on the back side, okay, of our man match quarter. So we're playing quarters to the passing strength, we're playing cut away. Okay, we'll play cut unless there's a single receiver, and sometimes when there's a single receiver, we will still play cut. We call it cut dot. Okay. The corner is playing the flat. I say the flat with air quotes because even though we say it's the flat, he's going to take the dude man to man that enters the flat. It's going to end up becoming two man after the switch. Okay. If we'll talk about the take back on final five principle in a moment, my will linebacker is playing cut on number two. So he has two up and inside playing inside and in the trail, inside and in the trail. And if two's out, he's going to cut the one. If two's out, he's going to cut the one, meaning he's going to end up playing inside and in the trail, building the fence from the bottom to the top of the number one receiver. So to me, the robber principle is to build a fence from top down. A cut principle is to build the fence from the bottom to the top. It's the same concept. We're robbing from the bottom to the top instead of the top to the bottom. Okay. My weak safety is going to do what we call a half over one technique. So he'll align anywhere between, depending on the split of the number two, he can start 10 to 12 yards inside, uh, one yard inside the number two receiver. So we can show like quarters. You can have him disguise and show like he's playing outside leverage at five to seven yards off. So you can show it like it's cover one. We'll talk about why I really like this coverage in a moment, especially when you play a lot of middle field close defense. And there's a lot of ways you can disguise his alignment. But at the snap of the ball, he needs to get about 14 yards and apex the number two and the number one receiver. 14 yards, he needs to fast pedal, apex the number two and the number one receiver. He's running the half over one technique. So in terms of his eye control, he's gonna be keying the number one's release. If the number one has an outside release, he's gonna get over the top of the number one. Okay, because the will linebacker is gonna be carrying the vertical two. If the number one eliminates himself. So he goes in, he goes shallow, he goes short, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to end up getting outside on top at about a three by three box, okay, outside of number two. If, <clears throat> excuse me, one runs an inside release, I look to either, there's two ways you can do it, run a robber principle, drop my hips, snap my eyes, snap my hips, and drop my hips, and run the same bracket on the number one, playing robber from top down. The other way you can play it is you can have him go from a fast pedal to a smooth pedal. So he's going from a weave and he's going to get vertical, staying in that three by three box, staying inside on top of the number one receiver. Okay. Now we need to talk about certain principles that we have to, uh, that we have to use when we play cut coverage. There are certain adjustments we have to make to certain splits of the receiver. So the first one we want to talk about is playing what we call take back on final five. So because the will linebacker has two up and two inside man to man, if the back is away or the split is wide, we say we got to play take back on final five at the corner. So everybody works away from the corner. The corner has to take the number one receiver man to man. It becomes two man. Okay. So if he runs shallow, he runs short, and nobody comes to the flat, the corner's going to play inside leverage. He's at least the lines four by one inside, and he's going to take him back man to man because we're playing man match, not zone match. There's no one. That, there's no one on that side of the field. I got to run with him. The next concept we'll talk about is when the mic backers in the cut. So if the backs to the side of the cut formation, we got to reduce split. We'll say mic in the cut. Okay. What that tells us to do is the will linebacker is going to still take the vertical of the lock, two up and two inside, two's out, cut the one. And if one runs shallow, the corner and the mic backer are going to end up bracketing the running back. So if two or one runs the shallow, okay, the mic backer is going to end up getting an under, under, under call or cut, cut, cut call from the corner. He's going to take the number one, man to man, he's going to cut the one. And the corner is going to end up taking the back, man to man, man to man. 
In terms of how we play the corner, we'll usually use a sail technique if uh, the back's going to the flat so we can handle the seven cut. So I have the corner sail. And again, I'm gonna show you the principle of how we sail towards the end here in terms of technique, but we'll see him sail, put his hips towards the quarterback, split the zone top down, okay? The last one we use is what we call a push alert. We use a push alert when one and two are close and the back is away because the mic is no longer in the cut. He's on the other side of the formation. He's playing bracket, he's playing stealer, okay? So he's not our part of the formation. So someone has to play take back on number one when number one runs the shallow. So if the splits are tight, we run what we call a push alert. So if one goes behind two on the release, one goes behind two on the release, we will push between the corner and the will. The will and the corner will recount. So the Y would become the new number one, we recount, and the Z would become the new number two. And then you're gonna follow your rules accordingly. That's what the push alert, alert means to me. We recount in a particular situation. In this case, it's when one releases behind two. If one stays one on the release, so for example, if the number one receiver ran a vertical route, okay, and then he went inside, we don't say one went behind two on the release. One stayed one. Corner has one, Will has two. We're gonna have to play it like take back on final five. And I'll draw, I'll draw that up as uh, we go along here after I get done with the presentation, okay? So those are some of the concepts you have to do in cut coverage. You gotta go to play take back on final five, you got to be able to play Mike, Mike in the cut, and you got to be able to play the push away. All right.